Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nerd Enthusiast Poker Podcast edition. Uh, make sure you please check out our sponsor, theslotsquad.com. They have all the legal sign-up bonuses in all the legal states right now for all the casinos. New Jersey, Michigan, Pennsylvania, I think West Virginia is in there now. Every month it feels like a new state's joining in. Uh, it's a live stream team. I'm on there some nights. Uh, you can go check it out, theslotsquad.com. Please go there, and if you're going to sign up for a casino, make sure you check them out because they have great bonuses. So you may take, make sure that you take advantage of all that free money that's out there uh, before you go sign up for a casino. So theslotsquad.com, go check them out. Speaking of uh, getting money together uh, for the series, mm. we came into a little bit of money. Uh, so if you've been following some of our previous stuff here, we've talked about NFTs, the WPT NFT, the Theta Drop. We talked about an opening we had uh last uh time when you were probably listening if you go if you haven't heard of these go back you can check them out on our nerd dudes youtube page they're all in there or previous podcast but the theta marketplace for the nfts has finally opened and uh we you want to talk about we got we got a little bit of luck we got we made some profit so we got a little money uh ready for vegas already so we already kind of talked about it in, in in previous episodes um we got in on this thing fairly early we we uh we talked about it we're like we're gonna do this um, and we were lucky enough to score um, two packs throughout their their first series of drops. Um, so the way it worked is there were there were three different tiers: legendary, rare, or legendary all in and a base pack. The legendary gave you a bunch of different cards, but the, the you know the one that you're aiming for the most was that legendary card that that big name player who who won a WPT event, um, and you actually got to like see the moment. So we were lucky enough to score two really well-known players, and the draw was that we got great addition numbers. So with the legendary packs, um, with these legendary uh, NFT moments, they they minted a hundred of each individual moment. And obviously, you know, if you got like ninety-nine, that might be good for you compared to like you know an eighty-three, just because ninety-nine is a unique number might yeah. might have a little bit more you know value to you. But the lower number additions were where it was at. So we got a Daniel Negreanu when he won his first WPT title, and we got number 11. So we were pretty pumped about that. It went live in June. Um, so right as soon as it went live, we, we, we on went it. on there. We posted them. Um, you couldn't really see what the other ones were being listed for right away, so we kind of just threw a dart at it. Um, we put it up for a couple thousand bucks. And lo and behold, within... I mean, a matter of minutes, this thing sold. The money was right into our Theta account. It's sitting in there now. Um, so, the, so, so the marketplace allows you to basically, it's not a bid area. It's pretty much, you can list it as like a buy it now price. Mm -hmm. um, and pretty much the market is determined by what people want to undercut each other for at the moment. Uh, in there so basically like let's say you list it for 500 bucks and the next guy has the same one and he wants to list it for 485 bucks well now that's kind of what's happening with it um at the at the present moment so the mo it's kind of being derived by what people are willing to pay at the moment yeah yep um so then shortly thereafter we listed um our carlos mortensen legendary card whatever you want to call it nft that was number five out of a hundred um, we were again. We were lucky to get a low edition number. Um, this was about two days or three days after it had went live. Again, we listed it at an affordable price, a couple thousand bucks, and boom, we got a, we got a bite. We sold it. Money went right to our account, um, and we turned our we turned. Uh, I mean, do we really want to say? We can or? say that you want to say the percentage of what we increased it by. We could talk about that. Like, yeah, it, we 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 made like five x profit, maybe a little bit more, five six x profit on our investment into it, which in our eyes it's great. We're going to use the money um, to we, help fund our degenerate. So <laughs> one of you guys listening in Vegas is going to get this money. So just just wait for it. You'll you'll find it. So with this, um, and I don't want to I don't want to like talk poorly about it because it's 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 not but it's like anything else like we got in very very early and if you look at now they have the feature on the marketplace it shows like sales history mm -hmm. and if you look at the sales history of of when they went live and kind of where they're at now if you were able to get your stuff out there early enough like we've told you if you listen to our earlier podcast that we've been telling you guys on this you would have known you you would have made a decent amount of profit like anthony and i did 
Um, but now it seems to be a little bit oversaturated. It's it's kind of gotten out of there. And, Her- and the other main issue is that the withdrawal process has not been set. Oh uh, yes. And mm-hmm. so I just I'm going to read you what it says for the withdrawal. So they have their own. Um, you know, coin or whatever called T fuel. Now you can use cash or you can convert it to T fuel. Um, which it says right now, withdrawals are not available at this time. We are working hard to make it available as soon as possible. Please sign up for announcements to be notified of the process. We will, when we enable withdrawals, we will require proof of identity um, and full KYC. I don't know what that means, but probably some kind of uh, identity that you are who you say you are. But that's, I think, one of the problems with the marketplace right now is that you can't cash out the money. And so the money's just sitting there. Yeah. So I think one of the problems with the market is that it's going to be hard to really get value um, until you can cash out. Now, once people can see that they can start taking their money out Mm -hmm. and withdrawing it, and now it's like real money that I can spend at the store or in a tournament, I think the marketplace is going to shoot back up a little bit. So I think it fired off. It spiked off. We got in on it early. We made our profit. Great. And I think it's diving down now because people are like, I, I need this money. I want this money. They can't get it out right now. So, Theta, if you're listening, I think if you get these withdrawals going, you're actually going to be able. Now, the yeah, thing- you're gonna see, you're gonna see you're gonna see an, an increase in the amount of amount of I don't want to say transactions, but you're gonna see a lot more people getting interested in it. Yeah, and so once that happens, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be. I think you're gonna see some more collection. I think you're gonna see some more things happening. Um, I don't know. I think it could be cool. I think there's a lot of things that could happen with this. I think they could probably expand it even further into the NFT world is to make personalized um, NFTs. So, like, let's say, for example, you go out to a WPT event. They'll say, hey, do you want us to take your picture while you're playing? We'll turn it into an exclusive NFT. Yeah. And then you could buy it. That would be cool. I think that would be a cool feature. And it'd be like, you know basically you know imprint it so it's like a one of a kind yep. and then you know you could have it or whatever so. i mean that's what the series did a few years ago they would have photographers coming around they would take your picture they'd give you a card and say hey you want to buy this picture of you playing at the table hey come come by yeah. come by our table come by our booth i mean yeah they were pricey but it was a professional professionally done photo always looked good and yeah. You know, they put a little board. You put in a little border to do, you know, World Series of Poker. Yeah, you hang it on your cave, wall or whatever. Put in our man cave here, you know, something like that. But I think that'd be cool for like an NFT version. So if you're listening, hit us up. We'll come up with some ideas. So you. before we end with this topic, um, one cool thing that they did with the second drop, and it actually made the base packs have a little bit more value, is they released like common hologram cards. Um, which have like a cool holographic feature to it. It's obviously like a little bit more unique, a little bit more rare. Um, they only minted a certain number of those for those individual events. Um, and those have been the ones that have seen like a decent return. So with the base pack, it was like a $50, $50 to buy the base pack. Um, and those were what you would get all the common cards, but they actually gave you a better percentage to get a holographic card in the base pack. Mm. And I've seen just following through like the sales in the marketplace, because that's, I mean, again, Theta, I got to give you credit. That's an awesome feature. Is like, you can look at the sales history and like, yeah. you know, things like that. Um, those have been the cards that have been selling for more than you would anticipate. And again, 75 bucks, a hundred bucks, but yeah, but if you get one, if it, you it get makes, one, makes your profit off back. that $50 investment, you're making two X, two X year investment. Um, so right now we 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 still got a couple out there that are, that are floating around for sale. Um, I, we feel like they're priced they're priced Reasonable. adequately, you yeah. know, reasonably based on what else is in in the market, and then the um, you know, the addition numbers that we have. And I think we're going to stay with it just just to see where it goes. We're you know, uh, hopefully a future podcast will have additional drops that we got you know get, get involved with, and then kind of talk about our experiences with that. But I, you know, I already said it. I got to give kudos to Theta WPT. It's definitely been fun, like yeah. being involved in it. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs>